welcome to Building Up Your Query. In this tutorial, you'll learn to create compound queries where all the conditions are required and where one or another condition is required as you become familiar with the advanced search feature. Join me as I help Max, a server engineer, when he requests my help as his Scrum Master. Hey, thanks for showing me how to find issues with basic search. But I'm running into a challenge. Glad I could help. What's up? I'm still having some trouble finding the issues I want. I have to wade through too many issues to find what I'm really after. Okay, well you know how this works. First describe what you really want. What I do want is to see issues assigned to me from the Teams in Space project. That's good, but remember to word your question in a way that JIRA understands by using JIRA field names. What might your question look like if you spoke more like JIRA? So to find what you want, you're effectively creating two queries, one that looks for issues in a specific project and one that looks for issues with a specific assignee. The issues that are in the results of both searches are the answer to your question. In JIRA, this is known as a compound clause. Graphically, you might look at it like this. Notice it's the overlapping area that represents the issues you want. A common mistake is to think that you want issues that meet either criteria when you really want issues that meet both. When you want issues that meet both criteria, the AND keyword is involved in the search. Whoa, wait a minute. Keyword, what's that? JQL enables you to use certain special words to join together clauses or modify how a single clause behaves. AND is one of six keywords. We'll look at other keywords later on. For now, let's take a look at your query and how AND is used. This is really helpful. How else can I search for issues? Let's stay in the habit of talking like JIRA. I think what you're asking is, what other fields can you use to search for issues? That's right. Besides the fields in the basic search bar, notice there's an option for more. When I click it, I can choose from among all the fields available in this instance of JIRA. I'll be glad to teach you about these fields later on. For now, just know that they're available to you. OK. But since you've got me thinking in terms of how I can ask better questions, I see that what I really need now is to see my major priority issues in Teams and Space. Great, let's take a look. I'll add the priority field to the search. And choose major as the criterion. This is great. I can search on any JIRA field we're using in the project. But earlier you mentioned the keyword AND. I don't see it anywhere. Where does it come into play? Right, so here's the concept. Every basic search you do is being completed through JIRA query language. Basic search hides the JQL from you, so you don't need to know it. For example, when you search two fields at once, JIRA inserts an AND behind the scenes that you didn't see in basic search. But there are limits to what basic search can do. And in these cases, you'll need to do an advanced search with JQL. JQL enables more sophisticated filtering of issues, giving you better insight and more control. What's more, if you understand JQL, you can become a true JIRA power user. A great way to start learning JQL is by looking at the underlying code for the basic search you do. I'll just click the advanced link on the basic search bar. First of all, do you remember the elements of a simple clause? Sure thing. Typically there's a field, an operator, and a value. Well, you can see that structure repeated here three times. Since we have three simple clauses added, anded, together, we have what's known as a compound clause. 
and is a keyword you can use to combine clauses. JQL includes other keywords such as OR. OK, but what's with IN? Let's talk about that another time when we look at different kinds of operators. For now, just think of IN as a way of saying equals. Watch as I switch back to basic search and remove the clause for priority. Now when I go to the advanced search, you can see the JQL has changed. Anytime you create a basic search, you can switch to the advanced mode to see the JQL. And I need JQL for OR keyword searches? Like if I want to see issues assigned to myself or a member of my team? That's right. We'll talk about OR and get some more practice using JQL in advanced search next. Last time we talked, you showed me how to view the JQL of my basic searches by switching over to advanced search. Now I need your help to find issues that belong to specific people so I can follow up with them. That requires an OR keyword search, which we can't execute in basic search. We'll need to use advanced search to create a query using JQL. But before we do that, let's stay in the habit of framing up your questions clearly, in a way that JIRA understands. I want to see issues that belong to either Cassie or Jennifer. That's good, but try to get in the habit of wording your questions using JIRA field names. What might your question look like in JIRA? So to find what you want, you're effectively creating two queries, one that looks for issues assigned to Cassie and one that looks for issues assigned to Jennifer. What you're looking for are issues where either criterion applies. This is another example of a compound clause, two or more simple clauses added together, like when we learned about AND. Remember, when we did an AND search, graphically it looked like this. But with an OR search, the diagram looks like this. You can see how much bigger the potential result set is when you use OR. I'll go to the Issue Navigator and select Cassie from the Assignee field. To create the OR keyword search, I'll switch to Advanced, and I'll click my mouse in the Advanced search bar. Wait a second. There's that in again. Yes, I know. And coincidentally, that function provides a shortcut for the search you want. JQL uses this more advanced function by default, so we see it here. Right now, it's more important that you understand OR, since it's so fundamental. Let's stick with OR, and I promise we'll cover in when it's more appropriate. Watch what happens when I press the spacebar. It's like Jira's reading your mind. Sometimes it feels that way. It's helping me with possible choices to complete the clause. Now I'll just click OR and press my spacebar again. And I can choose Assignee. This is pretty cool. Yep, JQL pretty much anticipates what I want to enter. I just keep pressing the spacebar and then selecting from the list JQL offers. I can also type the entry I want. If I'm having trouble with JQL, there's a link at the bottom of the dropdown for help with the syntax. Once I'm done, I press Enter, and the query is executed. OK, this is great, and, and I'm with you so far, but I just realized something. I didn't word my question as carefully as I thought I did. I need their issues from the Teens in Space project. Good catch. You might be tempted to add that criterion in basic search, but notice what happens when I try to switch to basic. Once you use OR, basic search can't handle the JQL anymore, and you must continue with advance. Besides, it's good practice for your JQL skills. Since we want to make sure only teams and space issues display, we'll use AND to add the third clause. 
Notice how when I select Teams in Space, Jira automatically encloses it in quotes. That's because the value Teams in Space contains spaces. Otherwise, no quotation marks are necessary. You can't add a clause just anywhere in your query because Jira evaluates JQL from left to right, meaning that Jira interprets your clauses in order and may not return the issues you want. For example, if you add your third clause to the beginning of your query, Jira will search for issues in Teams and Space that are assigned to Cassie, and all of the issues assigned to Jennifer, regardless of project. If you want to make sure that the clause you've added to the beginning of your query is applied to issues assigned to Cassie or Jennifer, you can group the remaining clauses in your compound query into a subquery using parentheses. This is how you tell JIRA to apply the Teams in Space parameter to both of your criteria. Note that your search will fail if you start your JQL with parentheses, so your subquery can't be the first clause in your search. I know JIRA will help us type the query, but for practice, let's try to figure this out. What will the JQL look like? You can see that the query results display, but it's a good practice to ensure the query is behaving as you think it should. After all, it's possible that we typed a query that seems to work, but in reality is not displaying what we want. I'll take a closer look at the assignee column and verify that I'm only seeing either Cassie or Jennifer. Then I'll look at the project column to ensure it only contains teams and space. The query does seem to be doing what we want. Perfect. This is just what I need for my Teams in Space meeting with Cassie and Jennifer. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. In this tutorial, you learned about advanced search as you learned about compound queries that use the keywords AND and OR. AND enables you to search on multiple fields, such as project name and assignee, to make the results more specific. With OR, you can broaden your query to include issues that meet any of the criteria you specify, such as issues assigned to different people. Take some time to apply what you've learned in your own project. Open your instance of JIRA and go to the Issue Navigator. Use the basic search to find issues assigned to you in a specific project. Switch to the Advanced Search to see the underlying JQL. Now stay in Advanced Search and expand your query to include all the issues assigned to either yourself or a colleague, and view the results of that search. In the end, you'll be viewing issues from either of the two people, but from just one project. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.